as you can see, I'm doing about 143 FPS. Okay, so I'm just going to minimize out of this. Let's just get out of this. All right, so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the search button over here and type in settings just like this and press enter. And then you're going to go from here to privacy, scroll all the way down and then go to background apps. Now, as you can see, mine is turned off over here. Now, for a lot of people out there, you might have this on and you might have all of these things running in the background and you might have more things than me over here installed, depending on what you have installed and what's all installed on your machine. So I highly recommend you go ahead and just change this to turn it off. So all of these things are off now and not running in the background while you are playing your games. You do not have to come back in here. It won't turn itself on. So just keep it off and then leave it off. Once you're done with that, you're going to go to the home page over here and then you are going to go to gaming like this and go to gaming mode. Now, for a lot of people out there, this might help you or it might not. It depends on the graphics card and the machine that you're running so your cpu your ram and your graphics card depends in so your cpu your graphics card and your ram is depending on how this is going to work now i have a 9700k with a water cooling block on it a rtx 2060 oc and i have 60 gigs of ram that's been overclocked all my components has been overclocked so if i put this on i don't see an increase in fps and i don't see a decrease in fps so if i put this off exact same results okay now if you are one of those people where you turn this on you maybe get i don't know five to ten frames more out of the game by putting it on then go ahead and turn it on that's common knowledge right if you turn it off and you get more fps then go ahead and turn it off common knowledge all right next thing you're going to need to do is go to graphic settings over here and then you're going to add pubg inside here now i've already added it in here it's very easy and simple to do as you can see here, it says hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. I highly recommend turning this on if you are not streaming, all right? If you are a Twitch streamer, a YouTube streamer, or whatever streamer you are, then go ahead and turn this off because this actually decreases your FPS if you have this on while streaming and playing a game. If you're not a streamer and all you do is play games, go ahead and switch this on. It's highly recommended to switch this on if you have this option because a lot of people don't have this option at all, all right? But if you don't have this option, don't stress about it because all you're going to need to do to click on browse over here and then you're just going to go to where your steam is installed so obviously your steam install and then go to steam apps and then go to common click anywhere and click on p for pubg and then pubg will come up like this you go to double click on it and then go to tsl game just like this go to binaries go to win64 and you're going to go to the tsl game.exe and you're going to say add now i've already done this as you can see it's right over here the TSL game.exe added inside here, go to options and then click on high performance and let it choose your graphics card that you're currently running. Trust me, ladies and gentlemen, this helps a lot with performance. Trust me, go ahead and do this and click on save. Once you're done with that, you are going to do this. It's very, very important to go ahead and do this. Go to the search button over here and type in edit power plan right here at the bottom. So edit power plan just like this and then go to edit power plan and let it look like this it's going to look like this and you're going to go to power options now i have this over here where it says the best settings for games okay now you might have balance a lot of people just have balanced all right you might also have high performance power saver and then ultimate performance the best thing that you can do is to create your own power plan all right okay so you're going to click on create a power plan click on high performance Click on here and then type in the best settings for PUBG. Just like that. That's what you're going to do. Click next. This is your own personal preference, but I highly recommend you keep it on never, never, and then say create. Right. Now we are on this power plan. Now we're going to change this power plan and make it active. All right. Change advanced power settings as you can see it's active over here the best settings for pubg active now it says here turn off hard disk after 20 minutes now this is very important for people out there that's playing on hard drives i'm playing only on solid state drives and m.2s and i still go ahead and type in zero here because then it's going to say turn off hard disk after never so your hard drive or your yeah specifically your hard drive won't go to sleep Okay, you do not want that to happen while you are using your machine. All right, so you put that on never. Go all the way down, go to processor management, go over here. And then you're going to go to minimum. And you, with laptops, it has a on battery and plugged in mode. Okay, two modes. Change them both to 100. Just go in here and type in 100%. And on PCs, it only has one. As you can see, it only has one on a PC. On laptops, it's plugged in and on battery. Change them both to 100%. Both of these. So there will be four with laptops. All right. Once you're done with that, you're going to say apply. and going to say OK. 
Once you're done with that, you now have an active power plant for PUBG. Now, for people out there that's using the video graphics cards, like just in general using the video graphics cards, I highly recommend you go ahead and do this. Right click on your desktop, go to the video control panel, and open up the video control panel. Right, once your Nvidia control panel opens up, you're going to go to adjust image settings with preview and you're going to go over here which says use the advanced 3D image settings and then it's going to say take me there. Now if you click here, it's basically just going to take you over here. Now I highly recommend you go ahead and follow these settings that I have right here. You can pause the video to see what I've done here. Please go ahead and change this to global and change all of these to what I have over here. Open GL rendering GPU. You are obviously going to put it on your dedicated graphics card. Do not say auto select. Dedicated graphics card. Then this one you're going to say prefer maximum performance. Default driver on clamped quality on auto off. Use the 3D application settings one and off. All right. Quality. This one over here. Test the faulting quality. This plays a very big role depending on the graphics card that you're currently running. All right. Now I have an 20 series graphics card. I have an RTX 2060 OC and it's a gigabyte version. All right. Okay. So I keep mine on quality because it can handle it. If you have anything lower than that, I highly recommend you go ahead and put this on performance. I do not suggest high performance because then you have, I don't know, a two gig graphics card, maybe a four gig graphics card, but it's a very older generation graphics card, like a 10 series or even lower. Then you can go high performance, but I do highly suggest performance or quality don't push it to high quality you're going to lose frames in this game right keep it at quality if you have a 10 series that's really high like a 1080 a 1070 that's 8 gigs of vram if it's anything lower than that go ahead and put it on performance all right once you're done with that you're going to click apply over here to the bottom once you're done with this then you're going to go to config surround and physics and you're going to click over here now do not put it on auto select, do not put it on CPU, put it on your graphics card you're currently running. Once you clicked on it, go ahead and apply these settings. All right, once you're done with that, this is not for frames per second. This is not for FPS boost. It's not. This is just to make your game, PUBG, look much, much clearer, much, much better. And the digital vibrance in the game just looks much, much better overall. All right, click on image three over here and then change the digital vibrance all the way up to your own personal preference mine's 85 as a sweet spot okay it makes the game look really good it makes every single game i play look really really good like the trees the grass everything your guns all those beautiful things all right go ahead and change it to your own personal preference like i said mine's 85 and this is what i have over here so i apply these settings and then once i'm done with that i go out of this all right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm in PUBG right now. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, so the first thing you're going to need to do is, obviously, as you can see, I'm doing about 146, 145 FPS in my game. And then I'm going to show you how to do this. You go to settings over here, and you're going to go to graphics, obviously. I highly recommend you go to gameplay and then put this on disable. Please go ahead and do this. It actually takes your frames away every time you press tab because it needs to render in your character. You do not need this. So please go ahead and disable this. And this is your own personal preference. All of these things over here is your own personal preference. I have mine as pink because nothing in the game's pink. So this is why I have this like this. Your key bindings, your own personal preference, your controls, your audio is your own personal preference. All right, graphics, here we go. All right, your language settings is your own personal preference depending on what language you speak or your native language. All right, NVIDIA Auto Capture, NVIDIA Highlight Auto Capture. I highly recommend go ahead and disable this. Put this at full screen mode. Do not, I repeat, do not play it in anything else because you are going to lose FPS in this game. All right, this you're going to put at your highest your resolution can go to this you're going to put on unlimited this on unlimited and then smooth frame rate please go ahead and disable this you do not need this in this game brightness is your own personal preference depending on your monitor this one of here i highly recommend enabling it it does help for every single game that's out there as it says universal brightness for all maps this one of here i highly recommend you keep at 100 if you want to get Really good FPS. Keep it at 100. Don't push it up. If you're going to push it up, you're going to start losing FPS in this game. Obviously, this is your first person camera FOV. I keep mine at 103, but it's your own personal preference over here. Now, these are my overall graphics settings with my CPU, my RAM, and my graphics card that I'm currently running. I, I keep everything on Ultra, and my game runs perfectly fine. Okay, now, 
let's talk about this people losing fps inside this game now you do not want to change your overall graphic settings you want to keep this at whatever it is and then you can start changing these things okay this one over here i highly recommend you go ahead and put this on very low if you are losing fps and you have a lower generation graphics card okay post processing you're going to do this you're going to put it at low shadows you are going to put at very low Textures, you're going to keep at ultra or on high. Effects, you're going to put on very low or on low. Foliage, you're going to put this on either low or on very low if you have a lower end gaming graphics card. I'm talking about a budget gaming laptop or budget gaming PC. View distance, you're going to put this all the way to low or very low. Sharpen, enable this. B-Sync, disable this. If you want to cap your FPS to the refresh rate of your monitor, the hertz of your monitor, then go ahead and enable it. The reason why V-Sync is here is screen tearing. As you can see, the screens are literally tearing. It shows you a preview on the right-hand side here, what it does. If you do not get screen tearing, I highly recommend disabling this and then you uncap your FPS. Motion blur, disable this, because as you can see, if you have this on, okay, I'm going to enable it. As you can see, everything blurs around you when you run around and stuff like that. You do not want this. You want to disable this so you can actually see everything around you while running, while quickly looking to the left and right. You do not want motion blur. This isn't a single player game, so go ahead and change this to disable. Keep this at DirectX 11. It runs perfectly fine on DirectX 11. All right. If you are running a higher generation graphics card, like a 20 series or 30 series graphics card, then you can literally just go like this on Ultra. Keep this obviously still enabled. This still disabled. This still disabled. And this still on DirectX 11. All right. If you're running anything lower, like a 10 series graphics card, go ahead and put this on high like this and then obviously what you're going to do is shadows you're going to keep on low foliage you're going to keep on either medium or low view distance you're going to keep on medium or low sharpen obviously enabled vsync disabled this disabled and directx 11 all right so these are the things you do not need that's why i put them on low because you do not need these things all right okay anti-analyzing you can also maybe put this on medium or on low it depends on your specific graphics card all right with my overall machine that i have right now i can keep mine like perfectly like this and i don't even need to apply it because it's already been applied i go back i go resume and now i'm standing in the lobby and i'm doing 145 146 fps inside the lobby i do about 185 while playing the game ladies and gentlemen if this worked for you leave a like leave a comment subscribe to my youtube channel if you're new year and as always Peace.